Good evening everyone and welcome to another edition of TV Talk Tonight with Stephen Brandon where me and my co-host Carly, a bunch of Aussies, talk about what happened on TV this week. So tonight we're going to talk about uh, what we saw on TV, plus we have a special guest joining us in the studio. Uh, her name is Julia Lehman, she's an up-and-coming actress. We just saw her on two episodes of The New Adventures of Old Christine, plus she's starring in a new web series, we're going to talk to her later in the show. But first let's welcome Carly and talk about TV. Hi, Carls. Hi. So we had a, a good week on TV this week. Sweeps, it was very good. Sweeps has officially begun. It's May, so they're pulling out all the stops. All the guest stars are coming. There's no more breaks, no more shows being uh, absent for a week. Very happy. Yes, so we're getting a full TV overload. Uh, let's talk about some of the guest stars we saw this week. First of all, Monday we had uh, Chuck featured Fred Willard and Swoozie Kurtz Ooh. as uh, an older an older version of Chuck and Sarah. They're a married couple who are a spy team just like uh, Sarah and Chuck who've just become a, a new couple. Uh, do you like Fred Willard? I like Fred Willard. He's very funny. Yeah, we saw him on Modern Family a couple of weeks ago as, as Phil's dad. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, he, he, I remember him on Pushing Daisies, uh, he, Everybody Loves Raymond. Uh, he had a lot. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's good to see him. Suzy Kurtz was also pushing daisies. And yes. She popped up it. on Desperate Housewives as a lesbian recently. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, it's good to see that these, uh, well, older actors are still being still used. Still can get work. They still can get work. That's I mean, Steven. Well, it's true. I mean, you know, you got to look at uh, Betty White hosted SNL recently. I and mean, that's fantastic. I mean, how many other 88-year-old actors out there are getting constant work? Probably not many, actually. Yeah. Speaking of guest stars, uh, an Aussie guest star was on Glee this Woo! week. What did you think of uh, well, I love ONJ? Me, I love Olivia Newton-John. I yeah. did watch Xanadu recently. <laughs> love Xanadu. So uh, she was I'm doing well. <laughs> yeah, I mean, now Sue Sylvester's had two songs, so I think that's all she's going to have for this season. But I mean, interesting. Yeah, I mean, they're they're basically, but the way they're giving Sue songs is they're making them videos. Yeah. She did her Vogue, Vogue. and now she did this one as a video. Do you think we'll ever she'll ever just burst into song? Or, I don't know, it probably won't feel the same. I, I know, it'll have to be a fantasy sequence rather yes. than her getting up on stage. Possibly. Actually... Yeah, because it's not going to be like she's going to sing with the Glee kids. No. 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 But you know, you know, uh, uh, there's an Artie episode coming up, I think, next week, or very soon called Dream On, where he has a fantasy sequence about what it would be like out of the wheelchair. Yes. And Kevin McHale actually gets to show off his dance moves. Oh, nice. So that's something to look forward to very soon. Uh, 30 Rock had a bunch of guest stars as well because it was a Mother's Day themed episode and everyone's mother came on. Of nice. course, we know Alec Baldwin's mother is Elaine Stritch. Uh, nice. Judah Friedlander, uh, the writer's mother, is Patty Lapone. Oh, uh, yeah. It's an interesting pairing. Yeah, and uh, who else was on? Uh, Jan Hooks was on as uh, Jenna's mother. Nice. So, now, do you think. Are you, I mean, do you just want to get storyline in, in Sweeps period or you like to see no, the guest stars? No, the guest stars you want to watch. You want to watch yeah. them? I mean, yeah. Or is the, can you get, We've is had too this much? discussion on it. I probably only watch Britney as a guest star. But this is true. This they is do true. pull out all the stops for yeah. Sweeps and it's yeah. good. Now, this week was also the second half of Fox Rocks. Uh, Fox, decide, singing, singing, singing. Fox decided every show for a week is going to have singing features on it. So, Jazz hands. Yes, exactly. So last week we had uh, Fringe where they had a, a film noir episode and there was a lot of singing and uh, on Bones that went to fantasy camp. This week House and his friends uh, sang karaoke. It's mm. uh, a nice I mean, way to push it in there. It was a nice way and the only show they didn't feature singing was 24. Now, can't imagine Keith Sutherland belting him on out. Well, time. no, it would not in his day life, but I, I don't see why his granddaughter couldn't call him up on the phone and, and he could have sung <laughs> Sing twinkle, a little twinkle Twinkle to let her go to sleep while he's fighting right. terrorists. Interesting. But, you know, I, I don't really buy all these, you know, let's do a week-long activity. NBC did it many, many years ago. It was called NBC Blackout Thursday, and they wanted all the Thursday night comedy shows to feature a blackout. Oh. Started on Mad About You, where Paul Rise's character started a blackout. Went to Friends. Mm -hmm. uh, remember Chandler got stuck in the vestibule oh, yeah. with yeah, Jill yeah. Goodacre? That was that one. Then it was Seinfeld, and Seinfeld said, look, we're so popular, we're not going with your stupid schemes. Forget you. There was no blackout on Seinfeld. And then Mad Men of the People, the Dabney Coleman show at 9.30, uh, did that as well. And, you know, it's good for that week, good for advertisers, which is you know, how TV makes its money, but when you're watching it later on the DVD or in repeats, it makes no sense. Uh, ABC did it many years ago. fun. ABC did it uh, as well. They had it called Storm of the Century. It was, uh, they were promoting Stephen King's The Stand, I believe, and every show, Spin City, Dharma and Greg, Drew Carey Show, had a, featured a storm. Right. So... I think they're just trying to uh, pull in the popularity of Glee and, like, put it all out to all the shows. That's true, because that, you know, it, it, I think it's just been officially rated the number one new show of the season. Right. But the most viewers, so I guess they're just on right, the Glee so. bandwagon. Alright, okay. Yes. So, let's, uh, you know, as it is May Sweeps now, next week is the May Upfronts, where we're going to find out what Ooh. new shows are coming. But along with what new shows are coming, we're going to find out what shows are disappearing. Right. So, it's time 
for the TV Talk tonight, bubble wrap. Ooh. Look, props. Can, can you do some bubble wrap, Carls? It's so soft. What you got to do is this. That's not really Feel work. This? Yeah. Oh. All right. So. A bit annoying. Here comes the bubble wrap chart. All right, folks. This is what we've got here. This is why my determination on which shows are looking good to come back next season, which shows maybe, and which shows hell no. So let's start over here on, on looking good. Look, I think Lie to Me is coming back. I think, you know, people like Tim Rothy. He gets about 12 million viewers. Uh, Life Unexpected is the CW show. Now, it's Life Unexpected or Melrose Place. Now, everyone knows Melrose Place is not doing well. I mean, you started I watching it. I thought it got cancelled already. Yeah, this, it hasn't officially been cancelled, <laughs> but uh, that's got no hope. So Life Unexpected... Uh, is is a better position. Chuck Chuck has been wavering between yes, definitely coming back to maybe coming back. They've just done a whole bunch of flash mobs mm -hmm. where people were were wearing uh, you know uh, buy more outfits. So Chuck has a good chance. Heroes, heroes should be. I think heroes is on the hell no. Hey, heroes should be on the hell no. Right. But here's the deal with heroes. Heroes gets a lot of viewers overseas. It makes a lot of money on DVD sales, and they want to wrap up the story. So it's kind of like a Baywatch. Doesn't yes. do well in America, but not exactly. Well in the so what they're going to probably do with heroes is give it a 13 episode order just to end it, so they can fi you know uh, basically. They might start watching again. Finish up all the storylines, right. make the monies on DVDs, and get out while they still can. Right. Uh, Human Target is also in the bubble because it's it's getting decent ratings, but it's been. Following Idol on Wednesday nights, not sure. Uh, but again, not a procedural, so it's one of these good shows where you can just sort of pop it in any, anyone. It is a procedural, I should say, where you can just pop it in any time. Mm -hmm. Speaking of uh, non procedurals, you've got V and Flash mm -hmm. Forward. Now, they both did Flash well. Flash Forward was good this They mm -hmm. both did well when they started, but then ABC made the big mistake of taking them off for four months. Yeah. They call it event programming and then disappears for four months. And V's ratings are better than Flash Forward, so which is why I've moved V here. Right. I mean, a lot of it depends on what they have in the pipeline. If they have better shows, nothing's coming back. Mm -hmm. But if, they have, if, they, if their pilots are pretty weak, like look at the comedies. Rules of Engagement, Old Christine, Gary and Married Accidentally on Purpose. They're not all coming back. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, you, it's pretty much, it's a Gary Unmarried or Accidentally on Purpose or Rules of Engagement that always just bring back from mid-season. All Christine's on season five now. It's been on the bubble every season and ABC always says they're going to pick it up if right. CBS doesn't. Uh, but what they've got good stuff, you know, they've got this William Shatner show, Bleak My Dad Said, in, right, in the yes. works. They've got a lot of other, uh, Mike and Molly, which is another Chuck Lorre show, which may come in on, on you know. It also depends on Charlie Sheen. If yes. Charlie Sheen doesn't come back for Two and a Half Men, maybe they might cancel Two and a Half Men and which one of these shows has a better slot. So, you know, uh, it all also depends on, no matter how good or bad your show is, it depends on what hap is happening on other people's shows. I think Ghost Whisperer should go out to the pasture and die. You think it should become yeah. a ghost itself? Yes. Well, like, yeah, Ghost Whisperer <laughs> and, like, Numbers. I mean, both... Numbers are, is very good. Numbers is good, but it's on, like, season seven now, and both of the stars have signed up for pilots. <laughs> That's true. That's true, but... Uh, I mean, and there's only case, so many really cases. Like cold, case. cold case is just Personal getting too opinion. expensive. It's season eight. They've just done season they eight. They use really expensive music. Exactly. So, you know, and I think they, the final episode is like a Rolling Stones episode. Oh, so it's expensive. This just becomes a case of money. Okay. Um, all these other shows down here, Deep End, Scrub, Better Off Ted, they're already... Yeah, see, I think Happy Town, one season, hopefully they'll wrap it up and then get rid of it. They're trying to make the new Twin Peaks here. Like, they did it last year with Harper's Island. Well, Sam Neill's in it. Yeah, okay. Mm, he's good. He's good, but, you know, bad time slot and no one's watching it. I watched it. So, you watched the premiere? I watched Did it. Did you like it? Yeah, I watched Did it. Did you understand it? Um, yeah, it, it, it started off well. I liked it. All right, so you're going to continue watching it? Yes, as long <laughs> as it doesn't clash with anything else I'm DVRing, yes. Yeah, it's a problem when you debut shows this late in the game in April, when, you know, you, you know. But I guess it took the ugly Betty time slot. Yes. So, all right, well, we're going to see next week which of our predictions came true with the bubbles wrap when we find out what happens on the upfronts. But uh, we're going to take a break now and stay tuned. We've got Julia Lehman joining us Ooh. next and we'll see you for that.